morning, good day, good evening, depending on when you're watching this. Hope you're well. Right. Oh, well, but you can go there. I'm in my, um, this sort of, it's not a dressing gown, it's it's not sold as a dressing gown, it's sold as like a, I'm not entirely sure, but I bought it with the intention of wearing it like a dressing gown around the house. So I haven't really, I haven't really done a great deal of shopping, I suppose, in the last week year. I haven't really bought myself much. Um, I think with lockdown, the kind of novelty of buying things online all the time <laughs> um, to fill the void sort of wore off. And with the shops not being open, just couldn't really be bothered. I just didn't feel that desire. But recently, in, in, a, in a short amount of time, I have managed to somehow accumulate a few new items. <laughs> um, and I thought I would show you today. There's a variety of different things. It's not just clothing. There's a few randoms in here as well. I thought I'd just get started. So the first thing is this. This is from H&M. It is a tiger print silk. Um, I don't want to... I suppose it's almost like a kimono, but it's not. It, it doesn't wrap around. It sort of ties in the middle. It's, it's a bit awkward, if I'm honest. Um, but I might make a few adjustments to it to make it work a bit better. But, oh, see, it's just come undone. It's got, like, an elastic bit around the waist here. I'm wearing it. I haven't got fully dressed yet because I haven't decided what I want to wear and there's stuff there that I might want to wear because some of it is like literally arrived yesterday so I might wear it. Um, and I bought it with the intention because I could see like wearing it undone, like not, not tied up with some cool ripped jeans and like a big t-shirt and loads of jewels and stuff and then it's just over the top. Just just cool and like some heels, heeled boots or something. That was the vision that came to me when I saw it and I was like, I must have it. But at the moment, I've only just worn it around the house like a dressing gown when I haven't quite got dressed yet. But I still love it. I think it's quite cool. It's glamorous and if I fit in with my bedroom. Okay, the next thing is my bag. So I put on my Instagram story a week or two ago about how I really wanted uh, a new bag for, for work purposes. So when I'm out and about, uh, if I'm getting the train to London, if I'm going into town to meet someone and I need my laptop, um, I didn't really have a bag that ticked the boxes. So I did have a mat and nap nappy bag, which was amazing. It like ticked all the boxes for me in terms of like work bag, had all these compartments. It was an accidental purchase. I didn't realize it was a nappy bag until I read one of the tags on the inside of it when I got home, but it's still perfect. The thing is though, is it's so big and bulky that I often I often found with the mat and nap bag that a full day of wearing it gave me real back, back issues and back pain. And it was kind of a bit uncomfortable to carry. Just the straps on it weren't quite the right size for me, which sounds really kind of pedantic, but I think it is important. You've got to have either a good arm, like another strap for the arm or the like over shoulder crossbody one has got to be the right thickness and the right length it's complicated I have back issues I've got a shoulder issue so for me it's kind of important to make sure that it's comfortable for like, all year all day round um, in my head I was thinking tote bag but the problem is tote bags they are just empty space um, I also thought satchel but the thing with satchels is they're quite narrow and they're not easy, sometimes they're not easily accessible. Like they've got loads of buckles on and stuff and I just can't be fucked with all that. So I was looking and you know, I was looking at designer bags and I like, oh, don't know if I want to spend that much money on a bag just yet. Um, and then I was looking at other brands um, and on, off, on the off chance, um, I was in John Lewis. We had a few, we had a little bit of time to kill before our breakfast because we went for breakfast the other morning. And I found this just there. Um, and it essentially does, <laughs> it does everything that I want. It's by Kin, which is their own brand. Should probably take my Ray-Bans out before I lose them. It's a vegan leather, and I love it because it's big like a tote, but it's got three sections. So it's got a zip-up section in the middle, which my laptop and iPad fit perfectly in. So that's where I'll put my iPad, my laptop, iPad, and the charger in there. And then these two sections, the, one of the sections has two pockets that would fit like a phone in, yeah, you know, a phone pocket. And then the other side is a zip up compartment, a pocket and a purse. You get a purse of it. I've not yet used that, but it's so nice. It's got um, the arms are a good size as well. So I could just chuck it on the shoulder. It's I, I did wear it the other day. I went out, I had a little meeting and I had to take my laptop with me and it was a really nice comfortable outing with this. So I'm so happy I found it. I like that it's 
quite plain as well and unbranded. Sometimes, I don't know, if, I don't know, I'm, I'm a bit funny with also branding on bags. It's got to be right. <laughs> oh my God, there's an expert cheers. I've had my eyes on these for quite a while now. Actually, a whole year I have wanted a pair of these, if not similar. And um, it was a bit of a late night, Saturday night, midnight purchase on my laptop in bed. Uh, and I told Phil about them and he thinks they're disgusting, but then when he saw them in real life, he's actually, okay, they're okay. But I was like, I can't wait for my delivery to come so I can see fa Phil's disgusted face as I put them on, but he, he quite liked them. Fluffy Ugg sliders. Oh my God. Um, right, so I'm a huge fan of the Ugg slipper. I'm wearing them right now. These babies are, they're, they're so worn in, but they're, they're just still so great and reliable and trusty and comfortable. And I'm, I'm gonna have them until the, till the end of my days. But these are more like a summery house slipper uh, shoe sandal. I don't know about you, but I, I have specific shoes that I just wear around the house because all of my floor is hardwood or hard, hard tiles apart from the hallway, which is carpeted. So I don't like wearing bare feet or just socks because I just need something a bit softer. <laughs> I just love these. Look at the horrendous fluff on the top there. It's the, the tie-dye sliders. They've got a little bit of elastic here. The fairy on the inside. They've got the hard sole. Oh, I'm a big fan. And Uggs have got so many different colors and styles in the fluffy slider. Would I wear them out? Probably not. Probably not. Maybe accidentally to Tesco one day if, if it's like a Friday evening and we're just going in to grab milk and some, I don't know, Chicago Town pizzas <laughs> and a tub of Ben and Jerry's. Ooh. But I wouldn't wear them like as, I wouldn't wear them out, out, like style them. Oh, I haven't done, there's a label on the bottom here. But I'm so happy I bought them and Phil likes them. He actually thinks they're all right. Why is it that men underestimate us, underestimate us sometimes, like our fashion purchases, and then they're like, oh, this is me. I'm like, well, I fucking know it's all right, because I picked it. I've got great taste, I'm impeccable. Next purchase, Amazon. I bought a lap tray, I bought a lap tray. This is a picture of me upon buying my lap tray. Look how happy I am. It's probably the most, most favorite purchase. So my lap tray, I don't know what it was. I just, I had real bad posture when I do work in bed and on the sofa. And um, I just thought it would be great for me to have a lap tray. Also to eat on. Um, this lap tray has a cup holder. It has a tablet holder and a snack drawer. Well, I mean, you might not specifically for snacks, but that's what I'm going to be using it for. I'm so happy. I've, I've, I, I, it does look a bit like a hospital table, though. I don't, it looked nicer on the picture, but to be honest, I don't care. Look after me. Wait on me hand and foot. I'm being productive. It made me laugh because Hannah Witten, who is a... Honestly, this is, the timing couldn't be any better. So Hannah Witten, who's a really great YouTuber, uh, I, I, when I was getting this out of the box and like setting it up on my lap and sitting there with a cup of tea on my laptop, right, I was scrolling on Instagram and Hannah Witten had put up a picture of um, a set of keys for an office. It was like a huge life milestone. I've just got an office to do my work from. And I'm just sitting there like, hi, I'm just down, I'm just, I'm going backwards in life. I got a fucking lap tray to work from. <laughs> oh, another thing that I got from Amazon. Did I put them in my pile? Ah, they're here. Oh my God, oh my God. Right, so um, I got from Amazon. I've got some condiment bottles. They came in a box. I got a packet of these. Why, you ask? Because I'm a condiment queen. I'm a very saucy lady. <laughs> and um, I often find with some of my condiments, I think, well, I'd love this in a squeezy version because Sometimes I just want a little bit of it, like for example, the Leon vegan garlic aioli. Oh, my mouth's already even thinking about it. Sometimes I just want a drizzle of that, like with a pit or with some flaffle. And um, with the Leon ketchup, sometimes I just want to drizzle it on top of my egg. I just want to drizzle stuff. And you know, I've got some incredible condiments in my fridge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my label maker, I'm gonna make some labels for them and I'm gonna decant them into these. Also, it'll save some space in the, in my, in my sauce caddy. That's, that's stuff, that's some stuff. Uh, and then just some clothing bits. These bits uh, have, I've accumulated over the past month, just through various, various things. 
Um, I got this really nice smocky wrap dress, prairie almost looking dress from Monkey. That was when I went to, when I got my hair done the other week. I had some time to kill for my train, so I went into a little look around the shops and I bought this from Monkey, which is yeah, it's a gorgeous smocky. Is it prairie dress? It just reminds me of you know ye olde sort of prairiness. I don't know if that's right, but it's really really nice. Oh my god, it smells great. I washed it. That's a good that's a good softener that I have. Really nice for summer. I wore this with a, like um, a western belt around the middle and my leather jacket and some boots and. I went into Lush, this was like a week later, and, and the salesman said that I was the most stylish person that he's seen all day. And then he told me that I was his favorite customer of the day as well, so. What can I say? Oh, these aren't dry! Oh no, I'm gonna, oh. Philip, um, you know that washing that we got in the other day that had been out hanging out there for days because it had been raining, it's just not dry. It's just not dry and it's it's all musty. I don't know what to, I'm gonna have to rewash it all. It's not good. It's not good times. We've had non-stop rain and then and then the weather gave me a glimpse of hope by it being sunny, so I hung out loads of washing and then it just rained for five days straight. And then we were optimistic and thought it was dry and got it in and it's not. But, but anyway, these are pajamas from HM. They got like a little frilly sort of top there. Um and they're the bottoms, and the, and the top is like a little shirt. I've worn these a few times. You might have seen, seen it in like recent vlogs or recent videos. They're from H&M. Me and my friend Carly went in there together and we both bought the same ones. She's pregnant though, so she got them so she can, when she breastfeeds, she can just pop a boob out because it's a shirt. Um, also from H&M, they've got some really cool band t-shirts at the moment. So I've got Grateful Dead in a tie-dye and then um, this Nirvana t-shirt as well, which I got from H&M. Oversized, just love an oversized t-shirt. Um, and then I, literally this morning I was in Asda buying some oat milk and they're really naughty, my Asda. They put all the really nice new clothes right by the front door and um, I may have bought a couple of tops, so a couple of things. So um, this little lovely little blouse, little denim blouse with some buttons up the front, nice shoulders. It's just slightly cropped, I suppose. It's quite short length. And then, because the last two times I've bought jeans from George or Asda have been very, very successful and I have them on rotation. They're like my two favorite jeans. I thought I would try a different style. So um, these are their high rise wide leg in an acid wash and they've got like, buttons at the front. Let me just feel the give on them. Oh, they don't have that, as much give as the other ones, but they are wide leg. So I might give them a go, see how I get on with them. They're a, yeah, an acid wash, wide leg, high rise jean, intrigued. Intrigue. Okay, so uh, at the weekend I made uh, a few little late night purchases. It was including the Uggs and then some ASOS ones. Now me and my friend Heidi are going on a girl date in a couple of weeks and um, we were talking about what we're gonna wear and stuff and she was showing me some dresses on ASOS. So I decided to go have a look on ASOS. Like she was, I think I might wear this. this, this. So I've, I decided to have a look and I think after I did the video the other day about things to wear, like comfy things to wear after lockdown, I've just got smock dresses on the, on the mind now and that's all I wanna wear. So, um, I got like I got a few different little dresses which I'm gonna try out. I might send some back, I don't know. This one is a maxi denim dress with a sort of almost a smocky kind of look to it, but it's buttoned down all the way to the front. And it's by Wednesday's girl. So in this nice sort of thin, thin denim. So the the popular dress that I love, which I've got in green and striped. I found it in a burnt pink, a salmony pink kind of. Again, it's nice and wide, and it's got the the the. Um, this is actually like it looks like it belongs in my bedroom, and it's got the frilly um, sleeves. These are so nice to just chuck on. They're just easy go-to outfit. Just put it on, and then just accessorize it however you want. This is this gorgeous um, orange check with poofy sleeves by Wednesday's girl as well. Love dresses. Cycle shorts and a dress. And also dresses are really nice to skate in. The right length, obviously, with your safety gear on. 
because it's just free. And then I got, like, a, 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 I just thought I needed a plain black comfortable dress because everything that I own is patterned or anal print or, you know, floral print is patterned. So I just got a plain one. This is actually new look and it's got a sort of squared off neckline. Again, nice poofy sleeves. And then it, it's like this interesting crinkly, um, crinkly waffly sort of material. And I just thought that that would be a, just a good everyday to put on. Easy, easy styling, so. Oh, and this is the this is the dress that started the whole conversation. She got it, I got it too. Heidi's got this. And when we got our date night, I was like, we should totally match. We're going out for tacos and then just gonna get shit based on cocktails. Probably gonna get a little bit messed up. No one else do. We're liabilities. <laughs> Sorry, we've got each other. <laughs> no judgment. Again, it's this like waffly material. I don't even know what it's called, but it's kind of bumpy and I don't know if you can see on there, but can you see the raisedness? Oh, yeah, and then, look, and then I did, it looks like I spent loads on ASOS. I didn't actually spend as much as I, it looks <gasps> like I might have spent. These patent brown boots. <gasps> I was unboxing, my friend Danny came over yesterday um, for a cup of tea and the delivery driver came and when I unboxed all this in front of her, she was like, oh, them boots are a bit of you, aren't they? And I was like, yeah. The only thing is, is that this top bit's a bit narrow. Like, we were just saying, do people not have legs anymore? Like, where are people's ankles gone? But it does actually zip up. I'm just gonna just have to wear them a lot and do lots of squats in them just to ease up this material a wee bit. Because it zips up, but it could be a bit looser. But it's a sock boot, so they are quite... And then the last thing that I got, these were just mainly for the lols, but also I think they'd be good for styling. Can't get this sticker off them. I got another pair of Del Boy glasses. I'm happy with them. That was that. I'm gonna drink my biscuit flavored tea um, and crack on. I got a nail appointment today. I got some work to do. I got a therapy session. Um, probably should get dressed. I'm probably gonna decant some sauces and make some sauce labels. Yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan for today. Au revoir, mon amis.